In 2017, Apple's new headquarters also called Apple Park Construction was finally completed. This cost Apple over $5 billion, which makes it one of the most expensive buildings on Earth. And many people are interested to know what exactly Apple got for their money. So in this video, we're going inside Apple Park and discover the buildings and facilities that make the headquarters so special. The main building on Apple's campus officially called The Ring, features four stories of office space which is more than enough for over 12,000 employees. The inner and outer perimeter of the building has a walkway, which means it'd take about 15 minutes to walk all the way around, but considering the view, you may not mind the long walk. The ring's exterior is made up of 36 to 47 foot long curved glass panels. Resulting in an open panoramic view of the outdoor landscape, Apple Park was actually designed to be as open as possible to encourage the free flow of ideas through meetings between employees, that's the reason office spaces are formed into pods. Where a worker could be in deep concentration one minute, then bump into a colleague the next, but not everyone was okay with this approach. And employees were writing into tech journalist John Gruber criticizing the open floor plan and even more about the glass walls and doors, which were easy to run into when distracted, in fact, two workers were actually injured and required hospitalization after walking into the building's translucent walls and doors. This made employees stick notes on the glass to make sure the obstacles were more noticeable, but they were quickly removed. Because they distracted from the building's design, the other way the ring encourages employee interaction is with one big restaurant, instead of several small ones located throughout the building. That means employees have to walk further to reach the cafe and increases the likelihood of interactions while eating. As the ring forced everyone into the same 58,000 square foot eating area, the restaurant itself is called Cafe Max and features four-story glass sliding doors, the largest in the world that opens to the courtyard. And to prove just how much Apple cares about every detail, they actually patented their own pizza box that prevents the crust from getting soggy. More to the ring, hidden underneath the four-story building is a two-story parking garage, finished with reflective white tile. Dome ceilings and traffic lights integrated into the street signs, allows workers to drive in and out of Apple Park without obstructing the beautiful view. Speaking of the landscaping at Apple Park is one of its most important features, Steve Jobs loved the foliage work done on Stanford's campus, and he tracked down one of the arborists responsible David Muffley, who oversaw the planting of 9,000 indigenous trees at Apple Park, handpicked not only for their appealing structure but also their resistance to the drought, which has only become more common. There is a rectangular field with a rainbow structure, which is used as a stage for speakers or performances. The stage uses rainbow colors as the early Apple logo, and has rounded arches. That can be fitted with lighting equipment, but it's important to point out that the ring is just one of several buildings at Apple Park. If you travel to the Northwest area, which you can reach by using gray Apple bicycles, you'll find a building that may look a bit out of place. It's called the Glen Denning Barn, and it wasn't part of Apple's original plans. The barn was built in 1916 and happened to be on the land Apple purchased for their new headquarters. They wanted to demolish it completely, but it had already been declared a historical site in 2004 by the city of Cupertino. So Apple agreed to keep the barn and use it to store maintenance tools and other landscaping materials. Besides Glen Denning Barn is a much larger building that was part of Apple's plans. It's a 100,000 square foot fitness and wellness center with changing rooms, showers, laundry services, group workout rooms, and a two-story yoga room covered in stone. But not just any stone. Jobs made sure it was sourced from a specific quarry in Kansas, and carefully distressed to make it look like the stone from his favorite hotel in Yosemite. Moving further south, you'll find the sports fields where workers can enjoy a game of basketball or tennis, and even further south is the Apple Park Central plant. The central plant has fuel cells, backup generators, chillers, condenser, water storage, hot water storage, an electrical substation, and fire pumps. While the parking garage adds additional 9,000 spaces for workers for a total of 14,200 parking spaces at Apple Park. Heading east from the southern garage, you'll find my personal favorite building, the Steve Jobs Theater. It's a circular building, made up of curved glass panels, topped with the largest carbon fiber roof in the world. There are so many amazing details about this building that'll probably make an entire video dedicated to it. So make sure you're subscribed for that. But long story short the glass panels actually act as support beams for the roof, so no columns are necessary, and if you're wondering where the actual theater is, it's all underground. You can reach it by either taking the beautifully crafted curved staircase, or by walking into a glass elevator that slowly rotates as it descends, allowing it to have just one door instead of two. The theater itself holds 921 people, about three times more than Apple's previous town hall. 
The visitor center also has an underground parking garage with almost 700 spaces. Now this 5 billion headquarters has received its fair share of criticism for being too extravagant, and its construction to a perfectionist. But I think those words describe precisely the type of campus Steve Jobs wanted for Apple. In the words of Tim Cook, Steve's vision is reflected all around us at Apple Park. He would have loved it here in this place, he dreamed up the home and inspiration for Apple's future innovations. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed that peek inside Apple Park. Drop a like and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss our next videos. And I'll see you in the next video.